Mike McCool here in the Royal Examiner studio, and with me today is Samantha Barber. Sam, yes. go Sam. by. Yes. Everybody knows her by Sam Barber. I said, someone said the other day, I said, yes, yeah, Sam Barber. Well, I looked all around, didn't see any man over there. <laughs> <laughs> so, but well, once they know you, they, uh, you know. It's Sam. It's yes. Sam. That's I know, it. I know. Uh, you have been busy oh, this my. last, well, the last year, but the last couple of weeks have been real busy. And it has been. You, uh, you got the keys now to the St. Myers Student Union and Activity Center. Yes, a mouthful. <laughs> I know. I know. It's a mouthful. So I probably will call it the Youth Center, but you'll know what That's I mean. That's fine. That's fine. Um, but there's a lot of other things coming up to lead up to the opening. So... In fact, starting next week, you got a couple of events. Tell us a little bit about those. Yeah, so um, this coming Monday, as we know, it says Martin Luther King Day. Mm -hmm. And um, that's always seen as a day of service. Um, and because, again, right away we want to make sure that the student union is a place that is community, that, that is a place of sure. service, we're changing it into a day of giving. Um, so, of course, we have a lot of money to raise um, and a lot of furniture and, and things like such, of, such as that to purchase. So on Monday, for starting from 10 to 2, we are inviting the community to come in and celebrate with us. This is huge for, for our entire community. So come in, get donuts and coffee, you know, and, and we're going to more or less have a vision. We're working with, okay. um, with a designer. And um, so not only are you going to see it, you want to see it in 3D, you know, where the tables are going to be, where the ping pong table is going to be, where the pool table is going to be. Right. So where the those, colors those and things like that. Those 3D renderings are, are pretty accurate when, you know, once they get it done, they do a yeah. great job. And it does give you that. Vi Some people are not very visual. <laughs> right. You know? right. So that really helps. It does. And and we want we want the we want our community to see this is what's coming, you know, and this is why we're having the day of giving, because this is so much of what we need. We need televisions. We need computers, which I know you're donating I'm some Chromebooks. You some Chromebooks, yeah. Um, you know, we we're meeting this afternoon with a contractor to paint, and um, George Klein is actually at the youth center right now, um, talking with the the county because we're going to be renovating the kitchen, and and things like that. So there's there's a lot of work. There's always a lot of work. Yeah. What you need to do now is make a list of all the things that you need. That's what and we're then doing. Put a price beside it because some people. You know, oh, hey, I can buy that chair yes, or I can yes. buy that table. Yeah. And it makes it real easy. Instead of looking at it as just money, it's right. looking at it as you yeah. know, something if, that I can make a difference. Exactly. Yeah. If you want to buy a television, if you want to buy a couple computers, sure. you know, if you want to buy wood for the a wood frame for, yeah. for the windows and things sure. like that. So yeah. it's it's not just saying, hey, this is what we want. It's bringing in the community and say, hey, this is something we're doing together. This is yeah. something we're building yeah. together. So. Yeah. You know, um, it's been awesome. Valley Health um, has already stepped forward and um, and have given us uh, $10,000 towards um, helping with the tutoring center. That's good. Um, so, yes, the, the tutoring center is going to be named after so that. Do we have a, a do we have a opening date? Uh, um, with with the remodeling, with the construction for the kitchen and things like that, we are we're really hopeful to have a soft opening in April. Well, that's pretty quick. Um, that's what we're hoping. Sure. Well, you got to hope. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so but do you have something else other than this day of giving? What else? I heard I heard you talking earlier about. Yeah, that. we are having. You know, every month we we started this last year with mm -hmm. with the school system with Dr. Ballinger and the schools to have a family night out. Right. And that is for all. I stress all of our families in, right. our, in the school community. It's so. not just, because you always do this at Skyline. Yes, uh, it's not just at Skyline. Last month, it was at Warren County Middle oh, School. Oh, okay, all right, the so you're moving around. I'm moving around. Oh, okay. <laughs> the previous month in November, it was at um, Warren County High School. So, yes, we're actually now at Sky, um, Skyline High School. So Because oh, I remember the last time I talked to you about it, it was at Skyline High School. And I yeah. thought, oh, maybe it's going to be at Skyline. Mm -mm. The, no, um, we actually switched up where the first one was at um, Warren County High School. The second okay. one, okay. The, the holiday one, which was amazing. We had over 150 people there. But it's for all, anyone in the school system, not it's, just from that school. So, no, so no. all 10 schools or 9 schools or how many we have? Uh, yes, okay. yes. All, nice. all the schools. And, and it's going to be Mardi Gras bingo night. Okay. You know, we always finding fun. Oh, you gotta have a theme. Gotta have, have to theme. have a theme, and so the pearls and and playing bingo and getting um, gift cards. We've gotten gift cards from Lido Pizza, and and that's the other thing. Lido Pizza is partnering with us to have that dinner. Right. So we're gonna have spaghetti and meatball. 
and um, chicken alfredo no with crawfish. salad. crawfish. Come on now. It's, it's <laughs> I'm just thinking about uh, uh, Crazy Willie there down at C&C Frozen Treats. If you want something Louisiana, he's the man, you know. Awesome. I think you should go down there and twist his arm and see if he'll give you a whole box full of beads. Beads. <laughs> I mean, you know, he's got them. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, definitely. So we'll, but We'll reach but, out and we'll put the plug. Anybody uh, that, you know, call Willie and tell him to give us the beads. <laughs> yeah, but we want, we, we're going to have mass where people can make mass. And, and again, just bringing the community together, which, you know, reaching out now is is the heart and soul sure. of the organization is is about loving on our community and sure. knowing that we we don't exist without our community. Sure. So yeah. 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 So that's the seventeenth. So that's on it's the a 7th. crazy week the next meal. week. Okay. So on Monday, which is the fifteenth, we're yes. doing the uh, the giving day. And that's going to be at the at the youth center. Yes. At the at student, a student, activity. student union. Oh <laughs> my goodness! You got me saying it now. <laughs> so yes, on Monday from ten to two at okay. the student union. That's okay. that's coffee and donut and okay. tour, and you'll see it. We'll have a. 3D okay. model of, of what it's okay. going to look like. Okay. And then on Wednesday, the 17th, um, from 5 to 7 at Skyline High School ca Cafeteria, yeah. um, it's going to be the family community and night no out. no charge for any of that? No charge. Is Devin going to be serving those? Um, no, oh. Devin's um, Lido Pizza is going to be serving oh, they're on gonna Wednesday. Do a pizza. Okay, because yeah. we've had him at the at the culinary school do some projects yes. for you. Yes, so Devin usually does, but um, on Thursday he has an appointment, and so we just figure he was. Uh, you know how he is. He was going to cook on Wednesday, I know. and then I'm like, Devin, no, <laughs> take the day off. Take the, he. I he's, just love him so much. He's, he's done a lot. For he does, he does so much yeah. for reaching out now. I mean, you know, a, his wife a, is on the board. I don't think we realize the uh, all the things that are going on, at, like at the Blue Ridge Tech Center and the schools and just everything. It's just a lot of activities. We don't they don't do a very good job about blowing their horn. I I, I get after them all the time. You didn't tell me about that. I would have helped you spread the yeah you know, yeah so. and 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 getting ready to hopefully meet with Mr. Greg. And the, the carpentry teacher, because, again, we want our students to be involved in this. So sure. to have them build the um, the cornhole boards, right? you know, and have the, the art student paint them. So sure. there's there's a vision of so many amazing sure. things that we're looking forward to. So, yeah. Okay, cool. That all yeah. sounds great. Yeah. All this is happening right before our eyes. This project, you've been working on this for basically how long? Um, this started back in April. Yeah, yeah so April the year's was pretty quick for it, it, getting you. You somehow convinced the county government to uh, to uh, and it, and they're cooperating and they've given you quite a bit to get I, started. I cannot honestly, I cannot give enough kudos to uh, Dr. Daly and Jane and the board of supervisors. Um, uh, what people don't see, you know, but just the meetings of. Um, the, the legacy of what this this will become and and the work that has been put in by the communities. Like I can call Jane or Dr. Daly at any time to, hey, this person wanna come down to the center. Can you can you meet me there? You know, bef sure. we, before we got the keys. And and on Tuesday, um, when we got the keys, Dr. Daly looked at me and he, he said, I promised you I would have gotten this done. <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. but but they have really worked and I can't wait for you to see it, Mike. The floors, the the bathrooms, both bathrooms are completely remodeled. And I know people will say, well, it's a government building and they needed to do that. It There's so much more went into yeah. to this, the, the heart and soul of we want this for our kids. And so Sam and team, we're going to work with you. And... They went above and beyond what we that's good. what we asked for. Right. That's so we were, kudos Mark to the and family. I were down there, you know, earlier with our camera when we when the vision was and starting. When and you <laughs> come on Monday, it oh my, it doesn't look anything like that anymore. Okay, the the floor is amazing. Um, this past weekend, my husband Joe he went and he he cleaned the floors and the windows and everything to prepare for Monday, because we we really want the community and you all to see what this is going to be. It's going to be, we're just dreaming and envisioning that this is going to be something different and something amazing sure. for our kids. Well, you know, if you, you have to have a vision, you have know, to. and I think that's, and someone has to drive the boat. So there you go. I mean, that's. Yeah, I, I mean, there's been some, some waves crashing in. <laughs> well, <laughs> but, as, as but, always, again, yes. I, like I said, I've talked to most of the supervisors about it, and uh, they all seem to be uh, very enthusiastic about it. And, they are. And, and, and really supportive. 
They and, are, and the community supportive. And and I and I was and I think the community that I read some of the comments were really glad that we kept that Sant Meyer's name attached yes, to it. That, no. that gives it that legacy because exactly. that was something that kind of was forgotten. And of all the work that he did to get this thing started years ago exactly and then it kind of just petered out and of course you know we do go through cycles no we and, do we and, do uh, but but um legacy tradition community you know then even in the name itself it with i know it's long but again respecting um you know mr st Fire and what he did and what he started and it was the students um who named the center it wasn't reaching out now right we sent out a survey to um, Randolph Macon, the homeschool, Warren County High School, um, and Skyline High School. And we say, okay, kids, here are three options. You know, Youth Center, Student Union, Student Union Activity Center, attached to the Raymond E. St. Meyer. Right. Which one of these resound to your heart? Which one right. of these would you like? And they responded. That's good. And, and yeah. so I can't take credit for the name. It's, it's our kids and our community. It, who it works. It works. We, uh, this is their space. You, men you mentioned Randolph Macon. I think you're going to get a lot of support and a lot of activity from the uh, the students there. All you got to do is put a washing machine and a dryer in, <laughs> and they will be there. Oh yes, I've seen them going. To <laughs> I see them bed. carrying their laundry downtown. You know, but but uh, yeah, that's uh, something that and they like to get out. And there's just you know, they they do. And one one thing that's going to be different, and that we're working on, of course, because you know there's those codes and Virginia Department of Education and all these different things. But I know before the the student union wasn't available to our middle schoolers. And so right now we're working on that age um, of having middle school Wednesdays. So um, our lawyer is looking into it and I think right now is looking like it's going to be from age 13. So if you're 13 years old um, upon registration on Wednesdays, that's going to be your day at the youth center because Again, we want to be able to reach them as early as possible. Sure. You know, so um, so that's going to be something very important for us to to have and and uh, bringing in community. Uh, you know, I'm 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 ringing the bell because we're going to be reaching out um, because we want this space to be what it is: student union and activity center, right. where there are activities, where there's chess club, there's art club, there's music club, there's robotics, there's learning how to do a 3D model. You know, there's going to be your space for tutoring. So teachers, retired teachers, nurses, you know, whoever from four to seven, we're going to have a rotating. That's when the center is going to be. It's going to be open to our public school students from four to seven right after school, but it's going to be open from 12 to seven every day because right. we want to be able to have a space available to our homeschool community sure. and our private school community as well. Sure. So, so the, yeah. you mentioned middle schoolers. Of course, mm -hmm. those are your future customers. You know, you exactly. want to kind of entice them early. What is mm -hmm. the basic age? Is it an age or just a grade in school? Um, from what we've been discussing with um, our representative from um, from um, Center of um, Nonprofit Excellence, from the paper codes, it looks like it's age 13. Okay. So if you're 13, you know, of course, Samuel was a young, you know, young seventh grader, you know, so I think 13 is, you can be, some 13 year olds can be in seventh grade and some can be in eighth grade. Okay. So, What's the limit? Um, high school. So, so senior in high school? Senior in high school. Okay. Yeah, so it's 18, 19, yeah, 17. So all the way, all the way through. Okay, as long yeah. as they're in school. As long as they're in school. Okay. As long as they haven't graduated. Um, Samuel said, well, I'm sorry, Mom. I'm, I'm going to be the only graduate there. I'm like, you are such a fool child. <laughs> well, you become a counselor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's and that's you the move other, up from the camper to the counselor. To the counselor. Right? That's what they do, right? And and I'm glad you brought that up because I said the vision is amazing. Where when we say a soft open, we are hoping to have four summer camps. Um, so two in June, two in July to prepare us to have the grand opening in August when school gets well, back be in. Great, be great. So that's what we're hoping. Well, you know, you, the the center is in a good spot in town. Uh, we have the parks. You got the pool. You got the stadium. You got the just, yeah, you know, no, we've, we've Domino's been blessed. pizza, you know, it's just easy to, <laughs> easy to get we've to. We've been blessed. We've been blessed for, you know, for to, to be in this position for such a time as this. I don't take it, don't yeah. take it lightly. But um, 
but th- just having this space for our kids and and sure, sure. and creating the biggest piece. You know, we're thinking about furniture and we're thinking about the kitchen and things like that. But it's what's going to be going on in the building that's important, and that's where other churches and library and you know um, retired teachers association. Um, the hospital, that's where the university, you know, Shenandoah University have already toured it and, and said that they're going to be helping with tutoring, you know, for okay. s- some of their students to come down for tutoring. So there's there's a a lot of uh, the the planning sheet um, yeah. is, is, is vast. It's, it's huge. You mentioned the school day. What about the weekends and holidays and things? What do we plan on doing then? Um, the, we're still working on that because we are going to go like reaching out now, we, we go by the school system. Sure. Um, of course, different from over the summer where we feel like there's going to be a need for summer summer camps for, especially for our younger kids, right. um, because they can't work, you sure. know, and, and families have an issue with, you know, with, with those little, those little details. And it's also about staffing because that's important. <laughs> um, we are working with, um, with People Inc. Um, to, to staff. Um, to help with staffing yeah. the the building. It's just not going to yeah. be a place for kids to hang out. It's, no, it, it's a it's a supervised a very, operation. Yes. It's very supervised. I can imagine. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. No, 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 no. It's just going to be it, you. You come in. It's it's your space. It's your hangout space. But it's going to be a social space. Sure. It's going to be a space where you interact. So when you come in, which I know, you know. Um, I've had many conversations about this. Um, when you come in, it's about interacting. It's about engaging. It's not about doing this. Right. So you're going to put your cell phones away into a locker, and you're going to socialize. So it's going to be That's a an important skill that's lacking right now, I think. It is. Yeah. It is. Important. So we we want our kids to um, to be able to look me in the eye and have a conversation. Yeah. To, to say hello, to say good afternoon. Sure. I remember going to one of our schools for a meeting and the buses were coming in. And of course, um, there's always something of, of noticed with me. And I think I said good morning to about 15 kids and about five of them looked at me and said good morning. Some of them didn't even answer. Right, right. You know, they just held, put, held their head down. Drudging and, their way into the classroom. Yeah. yeah. And and that's, a, I think that's an art that we're, a social art that we're missing. Sure. And it's not their fault. You know, the pandemic did a number on, on adults yeah, and yeah. kids. And It's time to stop blaming the pandemic. We got to get back to. We have. And this know, is, this is a part of that. This is a part of this that. Is a part of that. Yeah, and. Yeah. And I know we, we may get some, um, just like the school system have gotten some pushbacks sure. and things like that. When, when we were growing up, and I know times are different, sure. but we are, we're investing in having a phone system there. And it's not to say we're taking it from them and saying, hey, you can't get it back. It's, it's going to be visible if you need to call home, whatever. But it's protecting, uh, protecting our kids, um, protecting our volunteers. And, and turning this space into yeah. that social interactive right. space that yeah. we know that it can be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's great. Yeah. Well, I'm sure that there's going to be a lot of changes and modifications and yeah. ideas that sound great on paper, but just not going to make it. Or, But that's how it makes things grow. It when does. You're working on it it so really does. I'm sure it'll be great. It'll yeah. all, you, know, you got yeah. your thumbprint on there. Be, <laughs> and we're be, creating an advisory Um Again, we know that we we need help, we need support. So we're actually creating not only a student board, um, so applications are going to go out to the schools mm-hmm. to um, for seven students in our school systems to, to be on a student board. And we're also creating an advisory board that is going to be guiding the structure of how the youth center is. And, and we've been very specific in, in looking at those individuals, like Jane Meadows from the county is going to sure. be on there, um, Melissa German, she's with um, Center of Center for Nonprofit Excellence. So it's key individuals that we're going to have that have been in this business for a long time um, to, to be on this advisory board. So those things that are on paper can easily stick. Yeah. Then, because we don't want to keep changing the system, you know, sure. for... So, okay, this is here this week. It's not there next week. Right. We want our kids to have structure. So Yeah, structure is important. So putting in the time and work is well, important. Congratulations or condolences, whatever <laughs> way we 
might want to look at it, but it's you've really worked hard. All you just you and your staff, but yeah. you know, everyone that you've reached out and touched, which is a lot. Uh, and we want to give you some kudos for that. And Thank you so again, much. to all the county people that's helped. And I know that the ones you've mentioned and, and, and a lot of individual parents and everyone yeah. else, I think it'll be a great success. Thank you. Hey, Thank we you. will see you next week. Yes. Remind the 15th is the day of giving at yes. the youth center, mm -hmm. at the student union and activity <laughs> center. Yes. And then on uh, Wednesday, that meal over at Skyline High School from five to four to seven, five, five to, to seven, five to seven. Yes. Yeah, yes. So great. please come out, bring the kids, bring grandkids, auntie, uncles, Friends, yeah. you know, come out and let's and let's have some fun playing bingo together. That'd be great. Win some prizes. Yeah. Thanks again, Sam. Really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you so much, Mike.